Erica, good morning. How's it going? I have my, oh geez, my setup. <laughs> Gary, good morning. Gary, you have been MIA for days. It's been the longest uh, couple days. Where in the world have you been? Just have stuff going on. Just busy being governor, you know? Ooh, Erica, what do you think of minimal? I'm writing it down now. I don't know why my Bluetooth is always. Yes, Erica, tell us everything. Oh, vacation. Oh, no. All right. Well, you're excused then, Gary. That makes sense. Vacation and uh, truck breakdown, you know. Diana, good morning. Uh, did you get your truck fixed, Gary? That's a bummer. Although maybe it was just vacation telling you that uh, you just needed one more day. <laughs> Diana, how are you? Did you do this workout? Oh, geez, Erica. Erica said it was rough. I trust her. What was the hardest part, Erica? I don't know what is what movie reference this title is to. Willie, good morning. Erica's suggestion, go kind of fast the first minute because you don't get much rest before the box step ups. Okay. And she says, and no rest before the thrusters. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gary, literally yesterday golf today, double header. Oh gosh, that's a lot of patience, Gary, a double header. No, I'm not yawning. Stretching my mouth. Ha, ha, ha. Yay, Diana. Well, we're happy you're here. Eilish, good morning. Eilish ordered that whipper, huh? That's awesome. Nice, Erica. Erica says you pretty much get no rest. We got to love that. Almost done writing this gang. <laughs> Diana, yesterday she says sore but happy. I love that. That's my favorite gang. We say sore but happy. <laughs> it's very accurate. Describes much of life for our crew. Sore but happy, you know. Our, our tunes are going to kick in here and not gang. Okay. Oh, there we go. Aaron, good morning. Aaron, how's that 4 a.m. wake up going? <laughs> oh, Eilish says, if you want to whip or do it now, if you're Christmas shopping. Thank you, Eilish. That's a great point. Who was saying that? Was that someone on the live yesterday that was saying do your Christmas shopping now because of delays? It's actually a genius idea. In my personal opinion. I'm usually the like super last minute. So uh, I love that. <laughs> Blake, good morning. Gary, you didn't tell us. How was vacation? Mm 
Oh my gosh, Aaron. My four-year-old woke me up at 3.17 because they were bugs. They were the feather print on her bed spread. Oh, Aaron. Oh my gosh. So really you've been up since three, not four. You're just pushing the envelope on the uh, new wake up early. How was everyone else's day yesterday? Blake, Aaron, Willie, Eilish. Although getting your whipper, I feel like that's a really exciting, uh, that's a super exciting day, Eilish. Just make sure you get it set up correctly. I know um, Rich was saying there's like a way to like double thread the cord because that's how you get more resistance. Um, so not sure how much resistance you're working for. But also uh, I felt like the biggest thing to take into consideration was there's a, a max length on the cord when you're pulling it. Just being aware of where that is so you don't rip it off. I don't know that any of us were tall enough or even with like Rich pulling as hard as he could. I don't know that you could, but I guess it's just not good for it to like overstretch certain things, which is the same for like anything. It's gear rower regularly. Oh, I got your eyelash. It's coming in soon. Oh, yeah, I should send it in. Did you tag Fronting Farms? I'm sure they'd repost it, Blake. All right, crew, let's get this warm up started. So we have a 20 minute party here. Although I'm, I'm, I'm digging this uh, accessory too. Aaron, did you do your accessory today? We had a gymnastic specialist, Pam, I trained with Rich's wet last week and I'm thinking about it because Hollow Hold is on our accessory and she was amazing. And now I feel like I have to work my arch to hollow much more frequently. <laughs> so there. Gary, right up your alley. We've got some cat cows, you know? It's like, oh, Gary's back in the house. Tasia just must have known. She must have had that sense. Ooh, Aaron just squats today. I mean, Bergner strength squats, just when you say just squats, they're, they're a lot. Hey guys, my hamstrings are still sore. Holy mackerel. It's a good thing we have 80,000 RDLs today. Huh. Oh, I guess I have to see it, Blake. <laughs> oh, I see, Blake. <laughs> you must have massive guns then, Blake, you know? <laughs> oh gosh, Eilish, I've lived that before where it's like you have serious things you have to do after working out, but it's so humid and then you walk around looking like someone uh, dumped a bucket of water on your head. Yeah, I get that. I live that a lot. Although I've also uh, graduated to the fact that I always have like six additional outfits, bathing suits, pieces of equipment in my trunk at all times in case they're needed. When I was a kid, my dad had trunk jackets. So basically you could never complain that you were cold because if you were cold, you were getting a trunk jacket. <laughs> it's a real thing. And it's like, you're so cold, you need the trunk jacket, but you dread the trunk jacket because it's been in the car for like four years. It's probably a little crusty. It's definitely like some weird like flag print that no one's worn. Yeah. All right, guys. So for a warm up today, we have six minute clock. 
a lunge, elbow to floor, 12 air squats, 18 single leg glute bridge. <laughs> Aaron Trunk, see, it's a real thing. That makes me feel so much better. Uh, last one, you guys, was 18 single leg glute bridge. Some box step ups, thrusters. Just think of what I need today for, of course, my towel for glute bridge. Despite however much I clean the floor, it's just somehow still always slightly dirty. Where's Willie? Me, me and my whoop dad is. <laughs> Never gets old. Oh, but maybe it does. Who does? I don't feel that way. <laughs> Eilish, I love that it's called the boot. She keeps her stuff in the boot of her car for Irish weather. <laughs> I just like that your trunk's called a boot. I'm going to start calling my trunk a boot. <laughs> it just sounds more fun. <laughs> Thank you, Willie. <laughs> Willie said, whoops, dead is. Whoops. Gary, you have pole in your, your leagues. You should tell them that the trunk is not the boot. Now we shall whoop that is. So there. Okay, so our six-minute clock. I'm just going to go through one round because it's a longer workout today. Get this party started. Whoever has not worked out, this is a totally a fun one. You should totally do this one today. Aaron and heavy-duty trunk winter gloves. Aaron, funny enough, even being from Florida, I used to have extra running gloves in my car. Because in Tennessee, when we do there was a period of time where we did like outside track workouts. So it was nice to have them. I remember one track workout, I forgot I had an extra pair. And then uh, it's like Rich did that scene from Dumb and Dumber for weeks. Because I let them freeze to death and I forgot that I had that other uh, pair in the car. <laughs> oh dear. All right, guys, whatever leg you lunge for, if you're trying to bring that elbow towards the ground or to the ground, if you can. If not, it's fine. Totally understand. Still a work in progress. Definitely a work in progress, gang. You guys, my dog was going crazy this morning. She totally had the zoomies, but I don't know why. And now she's playing play <laughs> in front of the band. Rough life, ha ha ha. So you'll have six of these guys to do four with a really long hold if you prefer to do that. That's kind of what I'm doing today, trying to sink into those hips, warm those hips a little bit, especially for thrusters and box step ups. Then we're gonna move into 12 air squats. Just remember, push those hips back, stand nice and tall at the top. Eilish, I totally was wondering what Whoop is releasing today. I should ask Haley. <laughs> oh, good, good. Aaron says, uh, Jello legs by round four. <laughs> Aaron said, uh, second set was like, oh, this isn't terrible. Fast forward to third set. Never mind. Back pedal. I've done that before many times, especially on these e-mums. You're like, oh, this isn't bad. So 12 air squats, guys, trying to work to that full, low parallel depth. Ten. And 12. And last but not least, we have these 18 single leg glute bridge, guys. So. These will be single leg, but I'm just gonna shard off. Shard off. Whoa, no one's sharding in this group. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Start off. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, guys. I'm going to start off with a regular glute bridge because that's one of the movements in the bodyweight version. And then we'll go into those 18 total single leg glute bridge. Oh, no one's sharding this morning. Holy mackerel. So guys, for your single leg glute bridge, I like to bring my heels nice and close to my glutes. Some people might feel it wider. 
with your feet wider or further away, just kind of where you most feel like activation. But when I raise my hips, I'm going to squeeze those glutes and those hamstrings. Pause for a second, make sure you're getting activation. So that will be your glute bridge for the body weight version when we go over that. For this warm up, you're extending one leg, switching. I always just like to hold for a split second at the top just to make sure I'm squeezing, making sure I'm keeping that pelvis nice and neutral. So in the single leg version, you don't want to dip back, you want to keep that pelvis nice and straight across. So you'll have 18 of those total guys. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, crew, moving through that. Six more minutes. <laughs> well, six minutes total of that. Oh, you know when you sleep on your head, funny gang? My neck is like... Mr. Thruster, good morning. <laughs> Aaron, definitely no charts. <laughs> I was like, wow, whoops. I said, I meant start. I meant start. I know, Blake. Why do why? I mean, too much handstand work. Actually, you know what? I bet it was a handstand push-up yesterday. Oh, really, Danny? What'd you do, Mr. Thruster? Handstand push-ups? That's why I like strict more than kipping, but still it had been a while since I've done them. Actually, a really good exercise for that for uh stretching your neck. I mean, if you have a bench or something, you can just lay on it and just open up that sternum, that chest area. If you have a yoga block, it's awesome to put right between your scaps and between your shoulder blades. But a lot of um, people, when you're working on postures, you're standing nice and tall, and you bring your, it's giving yourself a double chin, basically. But if you bring that chin back, you're going to feel that stretch in the upper traps, and it also works on your posture. So if you're at a desk all day like this, or you hunch a little bit, it's good to just, from time to time, do that. As funny as that looks, because I mean, everyone wants to look like that when they're <laughs> stretching their neck, but it's actually uh, great to open up those upper traps. Um, thank you, Erin. So Erin always has my back. She's just sleeping on your help. The head helps with squats. That's what I thought, Erin. You guys onto something. <laughs> All right, guys. So for our workout today, Body weight and minimal, we have a 20 minute EMOM, meaning every minute on the minute. So for these first two minutes, I basically have a five rounder today, guys. But for these first two minutes, you're accumulating a certain number. Oops, I didn't write down the number of glute bridges, gang. And then the third minute, you're trying to hit max reps because the next minute you're going straight into rest. So also if you get to like 55, 50 seconds, and you're anticipating you're not going to make it through the movements on the next minute, you can stop for that transition. Or if you're like Aaron and Erica, you just put the pedal to the metal to the very last second and transition. You can do either, guys. But if you feel like you need that transition to keep your intensity up, that little bit of rest, you can work to like 45, 50 seconds of the time frame. Unless you know you have fast transitions and you can make it through because you have a lot of experience like Erica or Aaron, 20 glue bridge. Okay, so the glue bridges, guys, is 20 seconds. So it's 20 to 30 body weight RDLs, 20 glute bridges, and then max rep jumping air squats is minute three, then minute four is rest. I don't know why my music turned up, guys. And then for minimal, same 20 minute EMOM. Minute one, we have 10 single leg RDLs, 50 for the men, 35 for the women. I'll show you that with the dumbbell. Minute two, 20 single dumbbell box step-ups, 50 for the men, 35 for the women. Erica, Aaron, were you guys able to get through 20? I feel like that's going to be pushing it for, uh, have to be moving fast for that. Then minute three is going to be max rep single dumbbell thrusters. Minute four is rest. Let's see. Erica, 10 on each side. Which one, Erica? Four. Let me see here. Again, why don't know why my music stopped? Oh, my watch must have hit it. Ah, and thrusters is switch every 10 reps, gang. Any questions? 
Erica says 20 was hard to finish on the box step up. So I just, I feel like I remember this from last time doing uh, 20s. I was not as intentional about my speed on the first ones and didn't end up making it to 20. So I had a transition before that. And then the next, the subsequent ones, I remembered to move faster. All right, we'll go over this real quick and get started. It's a longer one. So showed you those glue bridges, which is your minute two. So you'll have 20 of those, but with both legs. Then you're going to be starting minute one. We're going to back pedal for a second with 20 RDLs. So whatever arm is going back as you're hinging at the hip, that same leg is going back. I keep a slight bend because I have really tight hamstrings. So you're trying to get the back nice and flat. Try not to tip over. I'm sure it's going to be fast, harder to go faster. And then the minimal version of this with the dumbbell, guys, I'm just going to have this dumbbell and I'm going to be tapping the head of the dumbbell on the ground for that. So let me see. So for the single leg, for the RDLs, Erica, is it five and five? Or is it 10 and 10? here oh it's 10 that's what you were saying each okay guys so for minimal for minute one you have 10 single leg rdls with that dumbbell like i just showed you but it's 10 each side then you'll have 20 single dumbbell box step ups total three is max rep thrusters but you do sets of 10 each side julie welcome and let's see, all we need to do now is our box step up. All over the place today, gang. But you're, you're jumping air squat. We've done this many times, guys. Push those hips back, try and get a little parallel, extending your hips at the top. For box step ups, we're just looking for you to open up the hips on the top of the box. You can do the whole minute with 20 on one shoulder. I think that's what I'm going to do, gang. Uh, or you could switch every 10, or in the last set, you can just switch on the 10s and do 20s for the other ones. Whatever tickles your fancy there. Personal preference. So for the single leg box, some of you are just going to have that dumbbell on your shoulder. Just going to extend those hips at the top. And for your thruster, you can power clean, squat clean. And it's a, a full squat into that push press. Make sure to use those hips, guys. And switch in the air on the ground once you get to 10. And that will be your dumbbell thruster. All right, crew, party time. Huh. Just borrowed the fan from Bear. She's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Julie, did you do this workout this morning? Erica, thank you. All right, crew, time to put the hair up and go. Here we go, gang. <laughs> Aaron, you guys are just so sweet. So impressed you guys already did this, Aaron, like four hours ago. Aaron, have you found that you're tired in the afternoons from getting up so early, or has it been okay? Heck yes, Julie. Oh, Julie, I've, I'm always a fan of added cardio. Just can't help it. Cardio makes some of us happy, you know? But I am a big fan of strength, too, guys. You know that. But I do... Uh, Coming from a running background, I have a soft spot for, for cardio. All right, you guys, pull up my clock and go time. Hmm. Well, Erica, so then it's only benefits all the way around. No downside. All right, guys, I don't really have a, a countdown clock on my my phone, so it's basically three, two, one, race. <laughs> so I'm chalking before I hit the button. I am such a napper, too. Aaron, 
Naps, naps are life. When you're an early bird, <laughs> Erica. Although so, I know some people can't nap and some people don't have the ability to nap given their schedule. All right, gang, here we go. So starting minute one with those 10 single leg RDLs. Minute two. Oh, that's not the word. Just try to keep our keep it close, gang. Minute two, 20 single leg box, step ups, then thrusters. RDLs, step ups, thrusters, rest, or RDLs, blue bridges, air squats, rest. Here we go. <laughs> Willie, I dream about naps. <laughs> Accurate. Some days I'm just like, please. Nap, please. All right, guys, starting in three, two, one. So 10 and 10 of these RDLs. As Erica suggested, you might want to start a little faster than you think to see how long it's going to take you to get through each of these movements, guys. Oh, I'm feeling that already. And 10. Five seconds, guys, moving into those box step ups and begin. Okay. And three, two, and rest. Sorry, girl. Come there. No. Oh, cul de sac dog. Great job, guys. Bye, Aaron. Have a great day. Blake, have an awesome day. Thank you guys for stopping by. Chatting it up this morning. All right, guys, so I was a little bit over on the box step ups. I'm trying to race through those. So we'll see on this one. I'm gonna try to move more quickly. Like I said, you can also stop around 50 seconds for that transition. If you don't think you can maintain that for five rounds, I will keep trying to hang on for dear life, <laughs> which is good. 
know about you guys, but I feel this RDLs. All right, guys, starting in three, two, one. Nice job, crew. Switch shoulder for step ups on this one. Beginning in two, one. Guys, straight to those thrusters. I'm gonna start with the opposite arm on thrusters this time, guys. Rest. Two done, crew. Woo, doggy. Nice job, guys. That definitely feels, gang. <laughs> Seven, you made it. 40 seconds till we start number three. Oh. Everything go okay, Stefan? You able to eat now after fasting? Starting with 20 seconds, guys. After this round, we'll be over the hump. Oh, good, Stefan. Well, I'm glad it props you for getting yearly checkups. I feel like a lot of people avoid them, but they're very important. Starting with five seconds, guys. Three, two, one. Nice shot, guys. Okay. 
in five seconds, guys. Switching back with that right shoulder for these step ups. And two, one. What are you guys switching back to my starting those thrusters to my right? Plus more okay? Two, one. Nice job, crew. Definitely one. This is a good back pocket workout. This is a great one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bacon, egg, and cheese breakfast burrito, Stefan. That sounds great. Stefan, I do it because it's free. Well, I'm glad you do it regardless. <laughs> Eilish, great question. I love the breakfast question. Breakfast burritos are fantastic. Erica, you're right. Hump day, and now we're officially over the hump. 28 seconds, gang. Julie, inside tracker is awesome. I would definitely do it like when you've been in your routine for a little while, just so you can see where you're at, know what things to like realistically adjust for sure. I really, really enjoyed the inside tracker. Starting in five seconds, guys. Three, two, one. My character said over the hump kick. And 10 and through. Switch your shoulders back to my left. And three, two, one.
10. get tough. <laughs> Julie, we've uh, we've tried the magic spoon. Eilish, I am. Uh, I still fast, uh, but I give myself grace. Like I said, I read a lot about it. So some days, I'll only do 12 and 12. Uh, usually the most I'll do is the 14 and 10. Um, but I really, really like it. <laughs> Gary, do you hate the roof of your mouth? That's hilarious. There was any Captain Crunch. I agree, Gary. It, uh, it's rough on the roof of your mouth. Last round, guys. <laughs> Starting now. Ah! The next day, I was like, what did I do? <laughs> Julie, really, everyone really liked Magic Spoon, by the way. They were big fans. I can't remember Rich and Jim had a favorite flavor. I can't remember what it is. There's one of them that they really, really liked. And 10, last round, guys. Just going back to my right for this one. Starting two, one. time guys Woo. 20 minutes in and out crew heck yes good shot guys i love single dumbbell work it exposes any uh little imbalances and stuff you know great work guys 
Isla, heck yes on Halloween Zoom. We definitely have to uh, do that. Gary, you're not big on breakfast. I don't know if I can trust you. You don't like blueberry pancakes or chocolate chip pancakes? Oh, Stefan, is it because you're eating before or not enough or? Oh, gosh. For a whole day, Julie, that'd be too much. I couldn't handle that, especially if you're working out. I feel like there's a certain amount of cognitive functioning that diminishes after a certain amount of fasting because your body's obviously depleting and using those stores. Uh, but for longevity's sake, I, I like the, uh, the shorter period fasting. But I know the people that do the shorter usually do a longer one like a couple times a year. Oof, I know, candy corn and candy pumpkin stuffing. Eilish, I know I miss the podcast so much. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, Julie said she had the PB Frosted Fruity and Cocoa. Ugh, oh, she says the fruity one's awesome. Oh, my God. Yeah, you'll have to uh, let me know about the other ones, too. Erica, I love breakfast food. Willie, heck yes. Halloween Zoom. <laughs> Oh, Stefan, yeah, that can, uh, that's tough to work out when you're feeling like super, super full. Full, full, I get it. Hmm. <laughs> Stefan says, low activity along with snacking until five causes nausea. Well, we might have to adjust that, Stefan. <laughs> Stefan, you and Haley said, not bad snacking, but rice cakes and fruit. I've met a lot of CrossFitters that eat rice cakes now. Blows my mind. Like, they're really popular in the running community back in my running days. But who knew the CrossFitters would uh, be on that train, too, apparently. <laughs> uh, Haley likes to quantify them in the, like, the sweet and savory categories, you know. But someone at uh, Train With Rich said white cheddar was really good, too, Stefan. You're not alone. <laughs> All right, guys, so for your accessory today, you're going to have three sets, 10 to 15 lateral box step-ups, one-minute handstand hold or a hollow hold, and 10 cat-cow. I know you guys know what cat-cow is. It's a tabletop position, your lateral box step-up game. I love these. These are great for food activation. Actually, I'm going to do it this way so you can see how I put my hips back. So I'm just going to step up. You can use a much lower box for these two. You don't have to start with such a high one, guys. But the most important part of this is watch as I push my hips back. Similar to how I tell you to push your hips back on those squats. I'm going to initiate, not going down and putting my knee forward. I'm going to initiate by driving those hips back and touching my foot to the ground. So see, my knee doesn't go over my toe that way. And I'm actually activating the glute. Then I'm going to step back up. Drive those hips back. And even starting these on like a plate this big, you'll feel that crazy activation in your glute. It's an awesome exercise. And then you guys, for handstand hold, just remember acting through your shoulders. If you're doing the hollow body hold, we did a lot of these at camp. They're hugely beneficial because they're such an important move part of every gymnastics movement from your toe to bar to your bar muscle up to everything hanging from those bars. So just make sure guys, you're engaging that core, lifting those feet and those shoulders off the ground. That's your hollow body position. So you'll have that hollow hold or handstand hold. And then also your cat cow guys. So in that tabletop position game, Nice flat back. Inhale, drop that belly to the ground. Exhale, like the Halloween cat, pushing those hips forward. Inhale, drop that belly to the ground. Exhale, push those hips forward. So that would be your cat cow thing. Any questions, crew? Oops. 
changed my chat size, gang. Nice work today, gang. Awesome job. Erica, Aaron, thank you for those uh, that scout report. Definitely necessary. That was a great workout. You should definitely uh, say that. Have, <laughs> Stefan says, there is a question. Yes, Stefan. Have you seen a cow after it has been washed and blow dried? No, Stefan, I have not. Have you? <laughs> a cow after it. I'm waiting for the punchline. <laughs> Yes, Erica, that was a really good one. You were right. You definitely had to hustle uh, hustle through that. But it's perfect. Are you serious, Stefan? He says they're so fluffy. Really? Thank you, Diana. Have a great day. <laughs> I thought it was a joke. Gary, I see myself in the mirror every day. Ha, huh. that's funny. <laughs> oh, well, awesome job, crew. <laughs> I'm going to have to Google it, Stefan. Here I am waiting for some crazy uh, wash and dried cow punchline, but apparently they're just cute in real life. <laughs> All right, gang. Well, as always, super thankful for you guys. That was a blast. That was a really, really good one. My posterior was screaming after the RDLs. Again, more things. It just shows you the stuff you need to work on, right? <laughs> Well, guys, as always, super thankful for you, and I can't wait to work out and chat with you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys have an awesome day.